and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Christy and I do um, projects with cheap stuff that I find uh, on Craigslist, garage sales, thrift stores for free. And um, if you're returning, thanks for watching and uh, liking and subscribing. So um, this is my find of the century. I love this thing. Um, I got this off you got. Um, if you don't know what you got is, it is uh, unconditional give and take. Um, you got and um, what it is it's a group usually on Facebook and a lot of communities have you got and so you just look for your um, your your own group ours is uh, the Ojai unconditional give and take and someone was giving away this awesome bar it was gonna be in a man cave he didn't have time for it he was moving and he had to get rid of it so when I saw this lovely thing I thought of circus and I thought of clowns um, I'm going to um, turn this into a prop that's going to be in our Circus of Horrors section. And uh, with help with my husband, because I'm not very good with power tools, he's going to um, drill some big old holes with a hole drilly thing all the way down on either side here. And you won't believe what else I got for free. I got all these for free. Mainly this one right here. So he's going to, my husband's going to help me cut it in half. And I'll show you that. And then um, we're gonna put them right here. I'm gonna wrap it up with black duct tape. So it's black and white, black and white. And we're gonna have fun. So uh, stay tuned and watch to see what this is gonna turn out to be. It's gonna be awesome. I'm mm -hmm. recording now, so you guys say hi. Hi. You're my helper. Oh, no, I, I'm your helper? You're okay. my husband too, I <laughs> I'm your husband and I do things like power tools and lift heavy stuff. And build guillotines. <clears throat> and build guillotines. I do build guillotines and other death machines. And That's kind of my little specialty. And hillbilly scary shacks. You mean dual and banjo shacks? Yeah. Hillbilly. Now that was Leroy's shack. That's Leroy's not, shack. That's not a, a hillbilly. That's just... You know what hillbilly means? No. It's friends from the hills. Because they're friendly people. There's nothing wrong with being a hillbilly. They weren't friendly on deliverance. Well, they were trying to be more of than friendly. <laughs> they were trying to be friendly a little too much. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So, like every project I seem to work on, it comes from the brain of the woman behind the camera. She has this great idea. And it's simple, simple. All you got to do is just do this and do that, do this, and poof, everything's done. So, I try to accommodate her requests as much as I possibly can. So, I cannot take full credit for what you're about to see. This is an inch and a half piece of PVC that we scored because we're cheap like that. We uh, wound up, probably saw the first video where everything we get is free and cheap because we don't have a budget. And to prove the point, you just don't need to spend a lot of money on this stuff. A lot of this stuff is out there and all it takes is a little bit of creativity. And what you're just seeing here is just a simple PVC pipe cutter split in an inch and a half PVC. It's 12 foot long, so we have two six foot pieces. And this is going to be the posts for the signs. Okay. So pretty much from there. Pretty much. I'm going to say pretty much a lot because I'm going based off of uh, pulling stuff out of my... So I'm going to take my hole saw and make sure that it's the right size so that this will be able to slide through it. This is a two inch hole saw, inch and a half inner diameter. So it's a little bit more like inch and seven eighths outer. And I want a little bit of slack so I can get it in to a hole easy. Sure, that's now, what they all say. <laughs> that's, what she, <laughs> that's what she said. Or he you said. want me to go there? No. But I'll go there. All right. One hole drilled. One, two, three more to go. <laughs> One hole down. Actually, that's three holes. 
in your sweat. Look, it made a face. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if anyone's curious why I'm dripping sweat, it's because my wife's having me do this on our record-breaking heat wave. It was 110 today. I thought it was 111. 111, yes. It was. I'm sure it's hot. Oh, that's hot! That yeah. drill's hot. Uh, duh. Friction. <laughs> Things get hot. so easy. Just drill a couple holes and stick some PVC pipe in it. Done. Fast. Easy. Alright. Stinks. Sorry about that. My bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Everyone's been having a very good view of the cleavage the whole time. Damn it. <laughs> just realized. I'm aiming the wrong way. <laughs> I can see down your shirt. Right now everyone in YouTube land is waiting for this scene to cap so I can grab my nuts. You didn't catch my nuts. Are you okay? Yeah. You want to flip it back? That's why these half inch drills have this little handle you hold on Here. to. So, what we need to do is start it and then cut to the end. Oh, that was such an easy hold the drill. Whoa. Magic. Honestly. It only took an hour to drill one, two, three, four, five, six holes. He started at seven, it's eight o'clock. All right, flip this thing over. Let's okay. mount it. Perfect. Do that again. Not just good. Good, good enough. enough. I can't decide if I want to put some drippy blood in here and make it look kind of old and nasty looking or leave it. I'm going to put the sign here, maybe some lights, and then a clown skeleton. Step right up and get some kisses! It's too short, you need oh. taller. I know, what. this is just an example. Oh, an example, like an idea of what it could look like? Yeah, that's what an example is. Step right up and get some lovin's. <laughs> Welcome to the freak show. All right, so the posts are in. That's all on, sturdy. Yes. You can do your sign. Yes. It's going to be good. Something's missing. What? Nothing's missing. We'll have to do the reveal. I have to film a whole other day. That's a good sound. Where's mine? Sure. Yeah. Hang on, let me take a sip. You're so tall, your head's cut off. It's my bad filming. Look at how short I am compared to you. I am like tiny. I have to get a wider lens. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get our heads Because in. you're tall, not because you're fat. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working. All right. Time to put the tools away.
So my ticket signs all painted and done and now I want to put these school lights on. I got these cute little wooden um, light up skulls at Michael's for a couple bucks. And uh, you turn them on and they glow and I wanted to attach them to my sign on either side. So what I did was I um, put some black paint on there measured where I wanted, put it on here, there it is, right there is in the middle, and I'm going to use the hole saw, right there, I'm going to drill a hole in here, just like that, I already did one, so then when you put it on, and you measure it up right, underneath, you'll be able to change your battery or turn it on, and then they will glow. And of course, I'm gonna paint them. So that's gonna look really neat. So it's another hot day out, and before I finish this sign, I want to put some brackets on it. And um, they're just these hooks here with a flat edge. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, and I am going to screw them on this way upside down on either side and one over here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and I'm going to hook the sign up there like that that way we can easily take it down if we need to to store it and remember the poles come out too and I'll put that in the middle like that so it should look something like that I hope. Um, so I want to put those on before I put my uh, skulls on, which are drying. Remember these? These are the little skulls that I had. I um, got them at Michael's for a couple bucks. And they're going to go there and here. Um, so when the... Sorry, it's still drying. Something like that. La! So those will be there, the sign will be hanging, I have the holes in the back so I can turn on the lights, and then I'll be done. And I have, um, not Christmas lights, but some kind of lights to hang and dangle, and I still haven't decided if I want to drip blood or not down there. So I am going to get started on that. Now if you remember me saying I'm not very good with power tools, so I'm doing what I can. And I'm going to use Gorilla Glue plus the screws. Um, so it'll be hanging up there for a while. And I don't want it to fall off. So I pretty much measured where I wanted them. Make sure the sign's facing the right way. That would be a pain if it wasn't. Okay, so I'm gonna use my um, Gorilla Glue and I'm gonna go ahead and glue the skulls on here. And then that way, that will be done. Woohoo! Here's my sign that I made. Um, again, in the back, I put those hooks. So I'm just gonna hook them right on here. The 
voila, like that. And um, I'm gonna play with some lights tonight and see how we should light this puppy up. Um, what's cool about this project is, I don't wanna see how much it cost. The bar was free. I got that on um, Craigslist or you got, I can't remember. The poles were free. Someone was getting rid of those. The wood, scrap wood, free. These, I think I got leftovers from, I don't know, they were just laying around my house. So I'm just gonna say they're free, but you could probably find them at a garage sale. Um, gosh, and then the paint, I had paint. These little things I got at Michael's, remember, for a couple bucks. So we're talking probably, I mean, if you really did add it all together, this whole thing cost me five bucks. That's right, five bucks. So let's light it up. I'm super excited because tonight, for the first time, I'm all done with my ticket booth behind me. And I am going to light it up. So I'm really excited. It's not super dark yet. Maybe I'll wait five more minutes, um, but I'm really excited to see what it looks like. And then with it lighted up here at the house, I can fix what needs to be fixed before it goes out um, for the haunt. So this is going to be really exciting to see the reveal. All the hard work paid off. All right. I brought some lights with me. Ooh, um, because... I don't have all the lights that are gonna actually be on this thing, so I'm just gonna make it up as I go. This is exciting. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these down here. Probably just gonna put one clamp light there. And I have this guy. Now my monkey's not done yet, but we'll just there for the time being even though he's not done okay so let's do this Ooh, I'm so excited okay I gotta turn off my flashlight what does it look like what does it look like what do you think oh we forgot look at that okay so I don't like how the red light is underneath um, down here because it's already red and so you can't see how it's got those cool colors. So maybe if you change it up a little, that's blue, that's green, blue and green, maybe kind of like that. A little bit of difference and it got that sheen to it oh yeah and then actually get a real character in her little actually get a real ca real character back there that'll look good that look real good I'm excited I got other colors too orange you know what um ooh that's kind of cool we have um lights that I think will just automatically rotate and change colors and um, they just plug in and they're LED and I think that's what we'll use. I just need one down there. Okay, taking it off for a closer view. Okay. 